Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. So, if you haven't been here before, I am a reseller and I basically sell anything for profit that I can get my hands on. And that is my job. That's how I pay my bills, feed my kids, put the heating on, hopefully, eventually. <laughs> anyway, um, if you enjoy my videos, please consider giving me a big thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Really helps me out and I really appreciate it. If you want to hit the bell for regular notifications, you can also. I upload Monday to Friday at the moment and I'm going to carry on powering through until I can't do it anymore. And um, if you'd like to support me further and get a shout out in a future video, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. There is also super thanks. And if any of you fancy buying anything out of this video, you can hit me up on Instagram if things aren't already on eBay. If they are on eBay, you can pop on mine on Rob's shop, which is on my channel. To find it, if you are going on eBay through, or if you're going on YouTube through your mobile phone, you just go onto my channel, the home page go across to about and the links are below if you're accessing on a desktop then you can just click on the channel and there should be some little icons to click on and you can type in whatever it is you're looking for i will give anyone a shout out that leaves a message when they buy something saying they're a subscriber also so let me know if you do buy something and i will give you a shout out anyway this is a haul video, as they all are at the minute, and I know that a lot of you are enjoying them, and I'm sorry for the ones that keep saying, oh, I want more videos about what you've sold, but I tend to only do those twice a month, so I get a good, decent video out of it. So um, I'm going to try and mix things up and do some different videos. Bitching Corner has not been axed, it's just I've got nothing to complain about at the moment. <laughs> but... There will be something at some point. I'm probably putting that out there now, so I will get loads to complain about. But hey her, get a good video out of it. Or not, we'll see. Um, right, okay, so charity shop haul. I'm just gonna go straight into it. So Rob picked up this lovely tea set. I told you it was coming from my brand, people. Do you know what brand this is before I tell you? Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to show the bottom because that's cheating. So there is that sugar bowl. And there are four of these cups. One. Two. They're all in really good condition. They are all glossy. Three. Oh, here I go again, chinging things. And four. And then we've got a milk jug. I'll show you the pattern so you can see. Give you a good chance to tell me in the comments what make you think this is. I want to see if you all know. And then we've got, I know, before you say anything, five saucers. We've got four cups, a sugar bowl and a milk jug and five saucers. But I said to Rob what he needs to do, and I want to know what you think about this as well. I nearly showed you the brand then. What he needs to do is list the four mugs, four saucers, milk jug and sugar bowl. Don't list the fifth saucer and then whoever buys it, they can have the fifth saucer for free as a extra. I think that keeps people happy. Have you guessed what they are yet? They are Denby. Can't see very well on there, but these are in really great condition. Um, There we go. That's a better one. Denby. Um, now, I haven't done very well with Denby. I had a very similar teapot to these and I bought it for a pound and I ended up selling it for five pounds, which is probably really underselling it. But I had it for such a long time and it wasn't shifting. And, you know, when you get sick of seeing something and it was big and it was bulky and it was breakable and I'm just like, I need to get rid of it. So I put it on an auction and I thought, well, if people want to pay more, they'll pay more. And it went on one bid for 99 But this is fine stoneware, England, handcrafted, and it's called Daybreak. Um, I wish they wouldn't put break in the title, but there you go. Um, I think it's going to aim for around 20 to 25 on the set, but I think it's lovely. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, it's definitely coming from my brand, isn't it? That's all I have to say on that, really. Right, these were two pounds. I have no idea how much they're worth. They're a pair of boots. They are like a bronze color. 
they're almost like um, a riding boot sort of material, aren't they, with the stretchy bit here, but they're, they're brand new. They're by The Flex and they are a size Euro, it says EU 7 slash 40 and a half. So that isn't an EU size, it's 7 and then it's EU 40 and a half, but it's the way they've put it. Um, they've got a really good grip, a really good sole on the bottom. They're really nice. Um, I need to do some research on these because I have no idea how much they are worth. But yeah, they're brand new and they were £2, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Right, I'm going to show you some shirts, what Rob picked up now. £2 each these were. Right, I don't know whether this is Debenhams, but it says Debenham and Free Body Pure Cotton. And it is a vintage shirt in its packaging. I'll put the label up so you can see it. I thought it was Debenhams, but I'm not sure. Um, it's got all this packaging on the back, so that was £2. Um, I'm not sure how much he's going to put these on for, because like I say, they're all very different. This is an actual Debenhams one, but it does say Debenhams, and it's got the vintage label. Um, pure cotton shirt. Still brand new with tags in the packaging, £2 on that. And then we've got this one, this is a corker. A vintage um, Yves Saint Laurent, and they said Ralph Lauren. Vintage Yves Saint Laurent shirt, um, new with tags. And it's still got, look, the old price inside. It was only 29.95 from Fenwick. And then it was reduced to 19 and then reduced to 10. £10.95. Amazing. Um, that'll be an expensive shirt, I would have thought. And then we've got this one. Oh! This is an Eid and Ravenscroft shirt, brand new tags. We were discussing the colour. Rob thought it was purple and orange. I thought it was blue and orange. My daughter Hayley thought it was blue and red. Um, <laughs> apparently it is paprika. That's what it says on the label anyway. It doesn't even mention anything about the colour. It just says orange, paprika. Um, but it's def definitely blue. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. I think that's definitely blue. Anyway, they were £2 each. Because I haven't told you that enough. Right, okay. I've bought some really bizarre stuff today. So I will warn you that this isn't my usual. But I just thought, you know what? I'm going to have a go with them. So these were £2 a pair. So I got these taps. <laughs> I've seen Brum reseller. Um, pick these up John um, I did check it was a hot and a cold as well because I just thought no Mal it could be too bloody cold when I get home um, they have obviously been used but they're very heavy nice taps I don't know how much these are worth but they were £2 for the pair and then I got another pair as well these ones are really nice again hot and a cold um, I really like these I really like the shape of the um, of the turny handles I've got a bit of paint on these, but I can scrape that off. Look at them. They're just so nice. They're really heavy. So these were £2 for the pair as well. Now, would you have bought these? Let me know in the comments if you would have bought them. I think they're pretty cool. And I'm quite excited to see what they go for. I also got these vintage cushion covers. Now, I've bought vintage cushion covers before and done pretty well with them. They normally go for around the £20 mark. These were £2. For the four really nice like a silky material with the raised pattern very vintage i think they're lovely i'm gonna see if they've got a label inside oh they have dorchester there we go look dorchester a member of acid mm. okay there you go I'll show you that yeah, I'm going to try and get 2025 20, for these because they're in really good condition. They are a little smelly. They smell like they've been smoked around, but I'll be able to get that out. It's not too bad. Um, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> this is funny. This was £2. Um, it is a Le Creuset, or Le Creuset, as I used to call it. A little lasagna dish. Um. It's in pretty good condition, to be fair. 
it's red as you can see don't really need to tell you that but yeah i don't know how much this will be worth two pound i paid um hope i'll get at least 10 pound for that it's really sweet all right what else have i got in here box of treasures bag of treasures actually Curl and mason two and again i always check the top salt and pepper mills um red i could sell them with the um la Crusoe stuff couldn't i these go pretty well for me um salt and pepper mills i usually do eight to ten pound on them they usually sell quite fast um needs a little clean but they're in pretty good condition two pound for those um right yeah got a couple of items of clothing i'll get through these quick because i know that they bore some of you they bore me to be fair but these are nice i was really pleased when i found these um, I haven't found mint velvet in ages. This was £4.50. There it is. Mint velvet, size A, and it's a cardigan, but it's quite a funky one. It fastens kind of lopsided. Um, it's like a grey rib with the zip pockets. It's really nice. Um, I'm hoping I can get 30 for that. We'll see. And then I got this. Um, again, £4.50. This is a burden, size 10, regular, like a polo dress. I just really liked it. I like the, it's got like a canvasy kind of material and I really like the pattern. I think it looks vintage. It's very vintage feel, like kind of 70s, 80s. Um, Just, yeah, really nice. Hoping I can get 25 to 30 on that one. So fingers crossed. And then the last thing. So, I've told you before about a charity shop that I go to and I always find my handmade blankets from there and they're always £4, they're always three ninety nine. They've finally cottoned on to me <laughs> and they've put their prices up. So, this one was eight ninety nine. So, they've put it up quite a lot. They've put it up by £5. So, whoever's priced this obviously knows they're worth something. And it is a really big, fluffy handmade i believe hand knitted hand is it crocheted yeah hand crocheted blanket all different colors look at it it's gorgeous this is going to get priced quite high because um handmade ones go really well and this is a really thick heavy blanket i think it is a double bed one but i will have to measure it up and make sure i put all that in the listing um before i can kind of say yeah it fits a double bed but even though it was five pound more than I normally pay, I was not leaving it behind. It's beautiful. It's got all of the colours of the rainbow in it. It's gorgeous. Um, really thick, really warm. Something that we need this time of year. Um, I'll be pricing this high. Um, blankets like this have sold on eBay and Etsy for near to a hundred pounds. Um, they're really sought after because they're unique. Um. The plainer coloured ones, I don't tend to price high because, like I've said before, I think you can buy them anywhere. They're not particularly unique. You can go into any shop and buy these, um, I forgot, cellular blankets. But these handmade ones, I think they demand a higher price for all the work that goes into them and how unique they are. This is beautiful. So I'm going to be aiming quite high. Like I say, paid £8.99. I'm going to aim for around £100. Um, maybe a little less, but yeah it's a big one i can hardly hold that up actually that's how heavy it is <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this video and you have watched it to this point please will you write in the comments um write taps <laughs> taps as in these and i want to know if you would have bought them um let me know what you think like I say, I've seen Brum reseller pick them up, John, and um, I don't know whether he sold them. I don't know what I did with them. I can't remember, but I just think it's worth a go, isn't it? It's worth a go. I can see what I can get for them. Everybody needs taps in their house, and some people might really like those taps because I think they're pretty cool as far as taps go. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And take care of yourselves. Let me know how you are in the comments. Be kind. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta.